everyone, and welcome to Deeply Rooted, episode number 193, and um, I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and I'm so glad that we are meeting here together again today. Um, As I like to begin, I always want to ground and set the intention for each and every episode that I do. I truly believe that without community, I don't know how you cannot I don't know how you could um, live in this life, live this life and live in the world. Um, It is so hard to go through things alone. And of course, you know, obviously you are going through things alone on one level, right? It's your own personal experience. But the reality of knowing there's someone there cheering you on, not trying to fix it because many things can't be fixed, but just acknowledging the pain you might be going through and then there to celebrate the joy on the other side. That's what this podcast is all about. And I'm so glad you're here. Today's art journal entry. I've drawn a a girl in boots and she is standing on top of a traveler's chest with lots of stickers on it. And the caption is, flying high on her soul's purpose. E.B. White says, I arise in the morning torn between a desire to save the world and a desire to savor the world. This makes it hard to plan the day. Here's some thoughts. What a beautiful way to face the world. You are so in touch with your soul's purpose that each day gets better and better. Do you have a sense of how to reach that type of life joy? Is there a roadmap that you have been dreaming about that you need to chart on paper? Stop holding it in your heart and take some action steps. First step, write down what comes to mind when you think of the words, save the world. Now write down what comes to mind when you think about this. Savor the world. These two responses are the trail markers to a new life. Today's invitation to imaginative prayer is entitled, God as Rescuer. And it's inspired by Psalm 18 in the Bible. You open your eyes and look around. You sit up not knowing where you are or how you got there. You are on the edge of a spacious meadow. There's a stream nearby and flowers everywhere. You hear buds, you hear birds and see butterflies. A grove of trees partly shades you from the sun. You slowly realize you're not alone. You've actually been resting on a comforting lap. Looking into the eyes of your comforter, into the eyes of God, you ask the question on your mind, How am I safe? I was drowning. 
God smiles and helps you lie down again. You close your eyes as God strokes your hair and begins to speak. You are in the middle of the stormy ocean. The waves surrounded you and you were about to go under for the last time. I saw you and I rescued you. You slowly remember a crazy and unbelievable scene. The sky is dark. The waves are rough. Your stomach tightens with fear as you frantically tread water, gulp it down, and sink. You feel the numbing cold. You taste the choking saltiness. Your confused mind is frozen in fear, knowing your strength is gone and you're about to drown. Then, a powerful earthquake shakes the mountains. God appears and smoke billows from God's nostrils. You see fire come from God's mouth as God's voice thunders from heaven. God splits open the sky and flies on the wings of the wind to your rescue. Strong hands reach down and take hold of you pulling you from the deep waters. You struggle to catch your breath as shock mixes with fear and exhaustion. You lose consciousness as you're lifted to safety. As your mind returns to the peace of the meadow, God gently says, I brought you to this spacious place. I rescued you because you are my delight, my child, my love. Rest now, dear one. You are safe. Picture the God in this meditation. The God whose voice and breath move the mountain, move the ocean. What feelings arise within you as you hear God's powerful voice? Can you believe God would move all of nature to rescue you? Can you imagine how important you must be to God? thoughts and feelings come up for you. Picture God gently holding your head and inviting you to rest. What emotions does this image of God bring up for you? How do the words, you are safe, make you feel? What do they mean to you? You are safe. How do you feel 
when you are told that you are God's delight, God's child, God's love. Hear God repeat those words to you. You are my child. I love you. I delight in you. Share your thoughts and feelings with God on those those words. Diary of a Creative Entrepreneur Journal Entry, February 11th Found the passwords for my old art online classes for Mindy Lacefield and Danielle Donaldson. And coupling it with the paper mache class, I am stoked to get started on some new work. I listed three original paintings, one of an RV, an elephant skull, and bowls, and created a lesson plan for rabbit rag dolls, a pre-cut version, and we'll photograph that this evening. A job popped up this morning for an art teacher four days a week at Heritage Academy. Did 10 minutes of yoga for a second day in a row, and found, found some great finds at Goodwill and got a big order on curriculum through the website. I need to work on setting up Shopify at some point and hoping that the new setup in ODE will be met with open arms. Three days it'll be led by the other teacher. One day will be Fun Friday. Two days I will create art with the students. February 12th and 13th. I woke up Saturday morning fired up to dig into my creative coaching sessions. I've mostly been listening as I create and haven't fully committed to filling out all of the exercises. I got a call about a position for a part-time kindergarten teacher, which are the exact hours I have at the preschool. So I will call on that tomorrow and hear more details. The week did end up well, and I hope we finally put to rest some of the competition that has been going on. I posted and photographed and created a video about the pre-cut rabbit dolls. I also did a prototype of the Basquiat-inspired crowns. I have some ideas for the ideas for the ODE classroom this week, but first things first. Valentine's Day on Monday. I'm still trying to track down food coloring for a volcano project and hoping to make bean bags for a walk balance work. It was a very good day that included a dollar day sale at my favorite thrift store in AJ. I felt inspired to take pics of the home that I've created here. February 14th, we had a bit of a crisis on the way of going to see Gamage, going to Gamage to see the band's visit, MTCS and all the things going on with the high school. My daughter wants to feel more a part of it and unfortunately because we did a mid-semester move, she was not eligible to go and and, uh, compete. Her dream is to be on Broadway. I'm here to be a part of that process for her and have really consciously made decisions to help her realize that dream. 
But I say to her, Josie, you have to decide for yourself. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? And how are you going to get there? I finished the uh, ragdoll pre-cut kits and posted them. And started another preliminary prototype of the Basquiat crowns. The first one did not come out so great. In fact, I hate it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for staying to the end and stopping by and um, hope that you are subscribed to the podcast so you never miss what's going on. Um, it's on all channels, so Apple, Spotify, Anchor. And if you're wondering how to support this work that I'm doing, I am honored if you have the opportunity to do so. So here's a few ways to do it. You could um, sponsor me through the podcast for a small monthly fee. I think the the uh, least expensive is like $4.99 a month, maybe even less than that. Um, I also have a Patreon account, and those um, that information is over in my show notes, but you can also find it anywhere I am on the internet. And again, that is a once a month uh, pledge where over there I post unique um, videos and podcasts and um, free PDFs and things like that that cannot be found anywhere on the internet. You could also go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel. At this point, I am at 399 subscribers. I need to get to 1000 so that I can start having advertising, which then allows me to get paid through that uh, venue. Um, then of course I have art kits, arts, um, art journal kits, sewing kits. Uh, those are all over on my Etsy shop. I also have original arts and prints that you can find on my Etsy shop, though I am in the process of doing a Shopify account to be able to not have to pay so many fees. Um, anyway, any way that you uh, desire to support me, it means a lot to me. I have been on this journey now for 15 years, going uh, through the ups and downs of being a Montes Montessori teacher um, and being a military wife and also raising children, but also knowing that this creative piece is not only super important for my life, um, um, to just, I don't know, to support and um, just have a sense of connectedness to myself, but to be able to share what I do with others so that they are invited to do the same. So anything that you do to help me, it is much appreciated. And again, thank you so much for coming by. See you soon.